Hey everyone, being a finance and operations applications developer, we need to implement application extensions and mo modifying the applications to meet the requirements of the business. My name is Kuldeep and I welcome you to this MB500 session agenda, which we are talking about what we would be covering in MB500, which is a five days training program. So let me take you through the session agenda real quick in here. So in this one, we would be discussing what we are about to cover in MB500, which is a five days of training program. Let's, uh, having said that, a quick introduction of your instructor. I'm um, being 18 plus years of uh, technology exposure, started myself with Microsoft Dynamics ERP solutions, slowly and moving uh, to Dynamics CRM as well, and then finally turning to Dynamics 365. Apart from that, I do have Microsoft SharePoint, Visual Studio, SQL Server, and Azure Cloud as the sideline technologies to have my technology exposures down there. As far as my certifications are concerned, I'm almost certified in most of the Dynamics Technologies platform examinations, which includes Dynamics 365 customer engagement, the CRM portion of it, which also includes Dynamics 365 finance and operations, the associate and the expert exams down there. I'm, I'm also certified on Power Platform and Microsoft Azure Cloud. So being an active MCT, I would be your instructor taking you through this official curriculum from Microsoft talking about that. As far as this current program is concerned, the MP500 exam will contribute towards achieving this particular certification, Microsoft Certified T365 Finance and Operations Developer Associate Badge down there. Okay. So let's quickly talk about the course agenda, what we are going to cover as part of this particular program. So this course comes up with 10 different modules down there. Let's understand one by one down here. The very first module is talking about the overview and architecture, where we would be discussing the navigational overview of the application and some of the lifecycle services, LCS portal aspects of that. At the same point of time, we would also be discussing the developer tools, which will help you understand how you can configure your Visual Studio IDE to work with your Dynamics 365 project types. Apart from that, if we need to configure Azure DevOps, the Azure DevOps server connections and configurations to Visual Studio, how can we do that? The third module basically talks about the solution design where we would be taking care of the end-to-end -end life cycle implementation, starting your project from LCS from scratch, moving to Visual Studio, do some extensions, export that as a software deployable package, how the build and synchronization actually happens. Module number four would be talking about the AOT elements, and this is something you'd be analyzing in the application explorer of your Visual Studio. How can you start adding existing items to an existing project for extension models? How can you create new elements which depends on multiple types over there? The module number five will talk about the code development and testing. In this module, we would be discussing about the code writing, creating classes, implementing methods down there, performing unit testings if required. At the same point of time, we would also be discussing the data migration on module number six. What should be anyone's data migration strategies? And that can definitely help us planning what are going to be our data, what we are going to import. Is it gonna be all transactional data or the open transactions and the closing balances? So we can pretty much discuss about all these terminologies one by one. Module number seven would further talk about the different frameworks you can use being a technical consultant in your Dynamics 365 finance and operations. Module number eight will further talk about third party integrations. If we need to develop some third party integrations, how can we do that? More importantly, if I would like to work with the workflows, power automates, power apps, power platforms, common data services, third party integrations down there, that's all what we will be discussing on module number eight of this particular program. Module number nine will talk about the reporting functionalities, whether you would like to create and configure the SSRS reports, you might want to customize your existing SSRS reports. A different type of reporting can be implemented using management report or reports for the financial reporting purposes. 
We can also talk about the office add-in functionality for export to Excel static or dynamic export capabilities which comes up into the system. We can also talk about configuring Power BI to the system environment and deploying those Power BI files, the embedded services down there. Module number 10 will further talk about the security and the performance area of the application where we would be discussing what security roles are, how duties and privileges combinedly will help you make up your security roles, configuring them, creating custom roles if required, assigning them to the users, and how we can have the performance analysis of the system starting working with the same thing. So these are the five different modules what we have in here and these five plus five, ten different modules what we would be covering as part of this particular program session. So at the end of the training, what you are expecting to get, first thing first, you will be having all these 1080p HD videos, the high definition videos, so you can pretty much reference this course again whenever the need be. Also, you would be getting the practice quizzes at the end of every module, kind of like test your knowledge sections, where you'll be having concept-based, content-based exams, uh, multiple type of questions, MCQs will be appearing in there. At the end of the training, you would also be receiving multiple series of practice tests from us, which will help you prepare for your MB500 certification exam. We would also be discussing the practice labs. So during the training sessions, you will always be having your dedicated practice labs associated to you, which will be giving you a dedicated instance of Dynamics 365, all the developer tools installed on top of it. It's a one box deployment virtual machine, which will be provided to you. And further, if you would like to extend your practice labs for further proof of concepts, any kind of uh, development practices or anything else, you can get additional information from labsosting.com. You'll be getting some promo codes, which will help you getting a few more programs at reduced rates uh, at, at additional discounts down there. Apart from this, you will be getting a Microsoft recognized official completion certificate after completing this particular training. And as part of the program, you would be receiving Microsoft official curriculums, the digital MOCs, the DMOCs associated on SkillPipe, which will give you the official books from Microsoft for learning MB500 down there. The next in the segment, we are discussing about the hands-on labs. Well, that's quite easy. In this training, the hands-on lab accessibility would be you on any of your browser. So you can access them anywhere, anytime, any device at any point of time. So when you talk about, you simply log into your labs portal, provide your user ID and password, and depending on your location, whether uh, you are near to the UK region or North America or Southeast Asia, your labs will be loaded from the nearest data center, and you'll pretty much logged into your labs, you can start working across. For more information about hands-on labs or practice sessions or practice labs associated with that, you can always visit labshosting.com, which are our official labs provider for all the Dynamics training programs. Well, that was the very first thing, guys, which is talking about the MB500, how and what exactly different things we would be providing as part of this training program, what different modules we would be covering, and uh, what additional things you'll be getting apart from an official training from the Microsoft Gold Partner. So thank you very much for being with me guys in this video. I should see you soon in the next upcoming sessions. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the day in the evening. Bye-bye.